<clears throat> well, I, I, I don't have words to respond to what you just described. And I don't think there are words to describe the words that you guys have experienced. But I, I can tell you that the United States is deeply committed to standing with the Ukrainian people. Because of the gun and with the refugee community, and it's sure that they've been treated with dignity and respect when you deserve it. So I appreciate you taking a few minutes to let me see where you're staying, and I know there's a lot of uncertainty about where you're going. We, we, we have to do better. We're coming all this way to it's not it's not a long drive. And what the first thing I really appreciate uh, is that I really have to I hope that the Okay. Okay. Yeah, they did it very cool. Have you seen the background and the press that you walk in the gallery? Yeah, it's a lot of crummy. Yes, so I People I just met with, they don't know where they're going to be going Friday. And um, whatever policy may or may not exist, no one can be happy with that result. These are women and children, their families. They deserve to be treated with dignity and with respect. And one thing, Maybe I should start here by saying one thing that has been abundantly clear to me since the day I arrived in Hungary is that the Hungarian people are incredibly generous. Incredibly generous. I mean, I remember my very first trip as U.S. ambassador going to Zahum and standing with the mayor of this small town and meeting the people who lived in this small town and hearing them recount how they gathered together and stood up and collected their resources so that they could respond to this unforeseen and tragic humanitarian catastrophe of these refugees flowing across the border. People that they didn't know, they had never met, but that they felt as Hungarians, as human beings, was so important for them to stand up and support. I saw it when I traveled to see the incredible work of the Hungarian Inner Church Aid with Aniko Levi, the extraordinary Aniko Levi, and the work that they were doing in shelters and around this country to service those who are most vulnerable. I saw it when I went to other refugee shelters on the Eastern Flank uh, in Hungary. Um, this is an extraordinarily uh, 
extraordinarily generous country built with extraordinarily generous people. And I would note that we're all confronting a war in Ukraine that is having catastrophic consequences and it requires generosity. The United States and the American people are also generous. We are, we continue to be the largest provider of humanitarian assistance since the war in Ukraine broke out for individuals in Ukraine and those who are fleeing Ukraine to seek shelter uh, and to seek uh, relief from the war. We continue to be the UN High Commissioner for Refugees' largest donor, including contributing on an annual basis, but contributing over $20 million to the refugee response program in Hungary. And so we obviously have an interest, as the Hungarian people have an interest, in ensuring that those who are fleeing from Putin's brutal full-scale invasion of Ukraine are treated with dignity, with respect, and with predictability. And I thought it was important for the United States and for me as the United States Ambassador to take a moment to spend some time with the families that I saw on the news last week who seemingly and um, inexplicably have no idea where they would be sleeping tonight and no idea where they will be going on Friday. And I'm confident, given the generosity of the Hungarian people, that this situation will be addressed and will be addressed in a humane manner and I look forward to, to it being so. And with that, I'd be happy to take a few of your questions. 444? Yeah, uh, Victor Orban's regular is saying that uh, if the U.S. would like to, it could be increased by tomorrow. What do you think about this? Peace could absolutely happen by tomorrow, and that's uh, if Vladimir Putin stopped his war in Ukraine. Uh, this is a war of choice by Vladimir Putin. Uh, it's important that uh, all of our allies are clear as to how this war can end, and it can, in fact, end today. And it's a decision that Putin can make, and I hope that he will. Take a question from here, Tebe. Thank you. Uh, what do you think uh, about the uh, Hungarian Prime Minister's uh, peace? Well, if what you're referring to is the Prime Minister's trip to Moscow in the days before the NATO Washington summit, um, I thought it was performative. I'm not sure um, if, uh, if anyone is following the performance. Um, and I think that until uh, Prime Minister Orban or, or any leader is unequivocally clear as to who bears responsibility for the war in Ukraine and how the war in Ukraine can end and can in fact end today if Vladimir Putin decided to stop it, um, then they are not a messenger of peace but a messenger of peace. Take a question from the Media. Ambassador, how would you comment uh, on the recent news that uh, the mother of a person who was arrested in the U.S. for uh, smuggling uh, radio techniques into Russia. This person, uh, mother, was a head of, the, of a Hungarian government uh, agency. How would you comment on that? You know, I'm, I, I'm not going to comment on the specific question. Obviously, in the United States, there has been an indictment that someone has been detained and arrested in the United States. Uh, for, on allegations of violating U.S. export control law with respect to providing or allegedly providing equipment to the Russian Federation. That's a serious issue. But the specifics of the individual and the case, I would need to refer you to the Department of Justice. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Telex. Yep. Yeah. I have a general question on the, the national security, please. Sorry, say that one more time. Is there any national security uh, interest that might be threatening uh, NATO? because of Hungarian, Russian... Well, Hungary is an ally. Hungary is a member of NATO. Um, and it's important that we're united in the face of uh, some serious issues that we as an alliance are confronting and that, that the world is confronting with respect to Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine. Um, we, uh, predictability is important and transparency is important. And that's something that we look forward to working on with the government of Hungary. Take two more questions, Magyar Hung. Hi. Um, are you proud of the political activity of Peter Magyar, and um, have you ever considered meeting him? Sure. I mean, as as the United States ambassador, I'm open to meeting uh, virtually all uh, opposition government officials in an effort to better understand each other. 
Uh, it's been interesting to watch uh, Hungary's democratic landscape become more competitive uh, over the last over the last period of time. That's something that has obviously caught Hungarians' attention and certainly has caught ours. Um, and and I think I, that, that, that's all I have to say. I, I'm interested in learning more. And Magyar Nara. Uh, my question is, uh, do you have any means to pursue the Hungarian government to help these refugee people more effectively? I mean, I was among the first to answer the refugee crisis in 1989 as a member of the uh, Red Cross uh, Foreign Affairs Department, and I see a significant difference. Uh, and they were more, I mean, the Hungarian government then was more generous than this Hungarian government. Significantly, do you have any means to pursue them to be at least that generous? Well, look, I, I, I think that this is this is not a political issue. Um, this is about people. Um, it's about very real people, their lives, and their families. Some of them may be sitting behind me right now. Um, and as I began this discussion, uh, there's no there's no ambiguity in the United States commitment to supporting uh, those who are fleeing war, including those who are fleeing. And we certainly will work with our partners and our allies, including the government of Hungary, in, tr in trying to support their efforts to do the same, as we have already done by investing a significant amount of money in the Sir, maybe one time, just one last sure. question from your own news here. I was just to ask you about this list of people. Can you give them some help? For them. Well, you know, the, the, the reason why I'm here is to focus and to learn what their situation is. It's something that is obviously uh, urgent and, and, and needs attention. Um, and so I'm hopeful that this will be addressed soon. I think that's all the time we have for today. Thank, Thank you, everyone. You. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank you.